What up, everybody? What up, Buck fans, YouTube fans? Um, my bad. Couldn't make my videos for the Redskin game. You know, pre-video and post-game video. Um, but um, yeah, another close game, man, and um, came up short again. Uh, did pathetic in the first half, second half, making a comeback. Um, kudos to um, <clears throat> Connor Connor Bart. Our kicker, man's a beast. Um, I'm glad he's on our team, but unfortunately, that last uh, that last drive uh, that the Redskins had um, just couldn't stop RG3. Uh, at the end of the day, what killed us was his legs in that last drive. Actually, um, man, it was but it was it was good. It was good. It was a good game, but came up short again. Um, so we're going into a bye week now. <clears throat> And I'm pretty sure that the uh, coaches should uh, they should be trying to figure out a way to make Freeman more comfortable in the offense. Like I don't know, figure something, fig just figure something out for him. What you did in the second half against the Redskins, do that. Make do you know? Um, just just run it all game. Well, not all game, but you know, most of the time, you know, make him feel comfortable. Cause right now he looks shaky. He looks um, uncertain. Like um, doesn't know what if he wants to pass the ball or it's just, he just looks horrible at times. And I know he's. I mean, everybody's dogging him. You know, everybody around the league, even uh, Buck fans, even people here in Tampa. You know, talking about oh yeah, get rid of Josh Freeman. Uh, Should have drafted the quarterback. Right. Yeah. But uh, Josh Freeman, he's talented. He's talented. But it's just. Uh, I don't know if it's the coaching that just I don't know and sometimes I feel like <clears throat> we should just let him play uh, let him play as in let him throw the ball cuz um most of the time we're trying to run run and calling conservative play calls you know not nah, let the man go out there get comfortable let him throw the ball you know and get in the rhythm cuz that's pretty much what he did in that 2010 season, I think, when we went 10, I don't know, we had 10 wins, but we did make it to the playoffs. That's what he basically did, you know. He was, they were trusting him, or Raheem Morris trusted him, you know. He was throwing the ball. And, um, he was, he was successful that year. But, um, I don't know. And, um, after the bye week, I know we played the Chiefs. Um, I'm not going to say it's a winnable game because uh, all these games that we played have been close and we've come up on a short end. And I know the Chiefs coming in with uh, Jamal Charles, even though we do good against the run. But we didn't do that well against the run last week with the um, Hilo Jr. I, I forgot his name. I don't know. And RG3. Um, <clears throat> but um, I don't know. Matt Castle, I think, is their quarterback. Uh, Dwayne Bowe, the receiver. Um... I don't know. I still like keep to leave over him. Um, right now in the division, we're still second. Uh, that's funny. We're still second. We're still second because uh, Panthers one and three like us, but we beat them one game. And um, and the um oh the Saints oh and four. That's weird. That's very weird. And uh, you would I wouldn't expect that from the Saints. But I mean. I guess that's what show that shows when um when you missing your coach or whatever, uh, and that's how you know that that teams need good coaches because without good coaches, look what happens. Or I don't know. Or it could be their defense or whatever defensive coach. I don't know. Or I don't know. I don't know. I hear I watch Saint fans videos, you know, and they talk about <clears throat> that um. Drew Brees throwing the ball too much and they're not running the ball very well this and that I don't know that's that's them and of course in first place is uh Atlanta the Falcons um they're hot they're hot this year they're very hot uh high offensive power um of course they got uh Michael Turner um Matt Ryan at quarterback there goes my dog barking <laughs> um who was it? Oh, they got Julio Jones, Roddy White. Um, but I can't, I can't wait to play uh, Atlanta. I think we play them week, week twelve. I think. 
Yeah. I think we play in week 12. We play Carolina again before we play them. That's weird. We play Carolina again before we play the Falcons. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait today. I want to see um, – Even I hope our record is much, much better when we play them. But I think we will match up pretty good against them. Uh, that's in our defense against their their uh, their offense. <clears throat> I feel like uh, Akeem Tlaib has done a good job <laughs> on Roddy White in these last uh, couple of years. Even though uh, Akeem Tlaib got burnt that game against the Giants, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was the defense play calling, you know, left them – on the island too much or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but um, I know that that Keith Tlaib has done a pretty good job on Roddy White in the past couple of years, and Julio Jones, of course, is gonna have to uh, lock up uh, against uh, Eric Wright, our free agent signed signed quarterback, uh, <coughs> cornerback. Excuse me, but he's been doing an excellent job. I've liked I've liked what uh, Eric Wright has been doing. I don't know if he got hurt in that game. I think he got hurt in this last game against the Redskins. I don't know how. I think he's okay now. But but yeah, I think he'll match up pretty good against Julio Jones. I'm not sure if they're uh, key to leave and and Wright is are gonna switch back and forth from Roddy and and Julio. But whatever, do I think we match up good against them? And of course, our third cornerback uh, EJ Biggers, which. Played, I think he played good last game for his first game back. I think he played, yeah. But I, I think I saw him break up a good pass, uh, a deep pass. Um, yeah. The only thing that's a concern to me, man, is is our offense, man. Our offense is like on the bubble. It's it's, it's just uh, on the bubble. Like you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know what you're gonna get coming into the game. In the game, you don't know what you're gonna get. I don't know. You just don't know what you're gonna get. But um, these are my thoughts. You know. Just thought I'd make a video. You know, it's it's gonna be a bye week, so not playing nobody. Hopefully, we get everything together, get everything fixed. Um, I don't know, man. Find something for Josh Freeman, uh, or get this running game kickstarted or something. I don't know. And um, oh, I was very excited to see Roscoe Parrish. Um, I think uh, more opportunities to get. Uh, He's gonna make something happen. <clears throat> I think he is. I think he really is, and that's that's what we needed. You know, a big, uh, a good punt returner. That's because, yeah, as y'all know, um, we just been. He he still has the kick return duties, but but on punt return, Roscoe got that, and um, I'm confident that he's gonna make something happen. He's gonna make something happen one of these games. Um, so yeah, but uh, yep. Yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Um, let's see what happens this Sunday. How uh things shape up in the NFC South and the whole NFC and the whole uh, NFL. So uh, catch y'all later. Peace Bucks fans.